Hello there. Welcome back. This is part 18 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Here we are by Andre. Um, last time we finalized with a chat from Solaire. Had a lot of talking to do last time. This was random NPCs, but we should be mostly past it now. But um, you know, there's always going to be some dialogue no matter what. So anyway, let's just uh, quickly buy what we got to buy off of Andre. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing needed. Yeah, we've already heard that. So it's um, what we want here is this thing called the Crest of Artorias. Uh, this is going to open the sealed door in the heart of the forest. Um, and if you remember, this is the. Uh, get yourself neither of us. Um, this is the door by the uh, the bonfire that um, I think I mentioned when we were there when we fought the butterfly. Um, so with that key that we bought, we're going to be able to get through it. You can buy that as soon as you get here. Um, the thing is, though, like it's expensive and it's hard to get that many souls. So I don't usually recommend it unless you really like want something in the area where we're going. Um, I also upgraded my Black Knight Sword, just another level. Um, I bought the Twinkling Titan Knight from the, the giant blacksmith, as you remember, but I forgot to actually apply it. So I did that off camera too. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's only got enough left on it for one more upgrade, and then we're pretty much going to be uh, maxed out with it. Now, that being said, it's still pretty strong, so being maxed out is uh, still going to last us for quite some time. Definitely until we get our next main weapon. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep using this sword. I've, I've actually, I'm really glad that we got it as a drop. It has been a very good sword for this playthrough. Uh, so anyway, here's the thing. I'm going to rest at the bonfire first. And just see here. Uh, oh, I don't have enough for mid force just yet. I wanted to showcase that off to you guys since it's a fun little kind of miracle to use. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to go into here and uh, see what life throws at us. Now, as usual, there's a few things on the agenda, so I want to make sure that we get through everything. Uh, this part kind of gives me trouble every single time. I'll, usually, I'll probably die at least once in here. Um, and you want to be careful because if you notice in the distance, there's a bunch of people. Oh! Wow, you got me. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I gotta be careful here, but. Oh, and just like that. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, okay, the good thing about this place is that about half of the people in here, once you kill them once, they're not gonna come back. Um, that. That pers person right there is one of them. Um, a little rusty. Haven't. It's been a little, a little while since my last playthrough. So, uh, not playthrough, but um, session. So, probably still got to warm up here. Let's uh, let's two hand it here. Okay. We'll go nice and careful. Oh wow. Ah. Man, I'm I'm just like messing up today. that one out, or I'll leave it in, depending on how funny I think it is. Uh, the main problem though is I might burn a lot of time if I die too much. But anyway, this is just the first one, and because it's so easy to just rematch, I guess I'm just getting lazy, but all right, no more messing around this time. Oh, I didn't have enough stamina to roll. Ah, I'm doing so bad. Okay, okay, this time for real. This time for real. I'm gonna try to actually parry him this time. Actually, I think that's a girl knight. If you, uh, if you look closely, it's very hard to tell, though. There we go. Alright, now we just gotta get one clean hit on them. This will do it. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You might have killed me three times, but I got you once. Alright, so, uh, there's a magician guy right there. Let's, let's get his attention. And that's why I'm saying be careful, because if, if you rush ahead too much, you're, uh, you're going to aggro too many people, and it's going to be a much harder time. Uh, we're looking very strong here. Um, so these guys are going to go down pretty easily. Uh, now there is... 
guy in this direction that can be kind of annoying because they're very hard to see and they're an assassin so they'll try to backstab you. Um, as you can tell the people here are like all just uh, you know build archetypes like that was the knight and he killed a mage and there's a thief and a few other ones here. Uh, oh what's that? Um, God, this is so scary. So anyway, where we are, by the way, um, I'll talk about it in a minute once we explore the area a little more. Because uh, there's going to be dialogue for someone we talk to that will explain things a bit. Now, let's see, I don't want to waste too much time, so I'm going to just sort of braid it. And if we get dogpiled, so be it. Let's see, oh. And of course, we got these plant guys. Um, but around here somewhere, I'll keep my shield up. I may have gotten a little bit off track here. Uh, well, okay, we still want to go this way. Oh, well. Wow. Oh. Y'all are being real mean. Okay. So I got some gardening done. The moss. So over here is actually an armor set. The uh, Eastern armor. Which um, is obviously based on some Asian design. Uh, I think Japanese. Not entirely sure, but uh, we're gonna meet someone wearing that armor really soon. So first we just gotta find the people I'm talking about. You know, me being the one making the videos, I should know everything, but as I've said many, many times before, I do not know everything. <laughs> And this is a very sort of a disorienting part of the game, right? Like, everything looks the same. Forest on forest. I'm pretty sure, I thought around this log is where that person is. It could be around here, maybe. Uh, no, that's the start. What the heck? <laughs> Should definitely be around here somewhere. Oh, okay, here's the thief. It's being real. Meanie. Oh yeah, our boys is just letting us tank those hits, no problem. Alright, they went down easy. Yeah, this guy's a trouble if he sneaks up on you. But once you call him out, it's not so bad. Okay, so, alright, we grabbed the attention of the cleric. So let's just finish him off. Well, <laughs> having a plus four black knight sword goes a long way. So I guess let's just finish off this guy while we're here. Um, now it's important that I want to get this next item before I move on ahead over there. Uh, that's where we're going to want to go. But there's two more of these uh, forest hunters, they're called, in this general direction. And I'm pretty sure we should have... Oh. Okay, so there's another knight here. Uh, same build as the first one we fought, but it is a separate person. I see a little bit faster than you, buddy. Oh wow, that went way smoother. Yeah, see, once I'm warmed up, I do decently. Um, but anyway, the other person we're looking for is hangs out around that night. Oh, and here she is. Uh, she's the archer, as you can see. And since uh, we didn't actually aggro her until we got close by, we don't have to worry about her pelting arrows at us. Which is normally her main threat. Yeah, up close she's not so bad. But anyway. We were hunting her down because she's actually going to drop some stuff for us. Uh, we get two humanities, uh, implying that she was pregnant, I guess. Uh, <laughs> then we get the black bow of Ferris and Ferris's hat, which um, are you know, your Robin Hood kind of hat, real cool. And the black bow of Ferris is a unique bow, which uh, is pretty good um, as far as bows go. Uh, it is a long bow, so it's more configured for long range. Um, we'll be using it eventually. Uh, maybe? Maybe not, though, actually. <laughs> I believe I have the stats for it though, so if I need to use a bow, I'll probably use that. Um, but anyway, uh, so all these forest hunters that we fought, um, they are here for a reason, and we're about to find out by talking to uh, this cat thing. Right? Looks like a cat, sounds like a cat, but like, my cat's mouth does not look like that. <laughs> so let's see what she has to say. Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. 
that cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark? <laughs> Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Well, indeed, thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Dark Root Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defiles of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. I am very glad. And now thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. And here taketh this ring. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage shall be mine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed. The golden rule. The clan is thine own father. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double cross. Have no doubt, such wretchedness never will we tolerate. Alrighty, so we are officially a forest hunter now. Um, like she said, we're here to stop grave robbers essentially um now grave robbers is in quotation marks because that's anyone who wanders into this forest area um now the main grave that we're defending is actually in this direction uh way down there uh we're not gonna tackle that entirely today uh while we're here though we will sort of quickly check out this area um so if you go over here uh you might this is easy to miss but here we can actually find a treasure chest containing the uh, stone set. Uh, this is the armor that those big guys used um, earlier in the garden, uh, right before the moth fight, uh, or butterfly fight. Uh, so that's some decent heavy armor. Uh, as far as for what else is in here, uh, we got these tiny little mushroom guys, uh, as you can see. Uh, they're actually harmless, um, at least these ones are. Uh, you can kill them, uh, but then they run away and like, it just feel bad. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, these are the little babies. Babies. Um, the parents, however, are going to be a lot more um, aggressive. So, to uh, sort of, as usual, showcase this. Um, I don't normally recommend doing this, but let's uh, see what they're packing. Yeah, they. Uh, these guys hit very hard, <laughs> but they are also very slow. So they're not too bad as long as you don't get cocky. Um, that first punch, they can wind up for a second one, but then after that, you're good. So, oh wow. Yeah, so just like that, you gotta be careful because they reach farther than you would think, and um, yeah, they can, uh, <laughs> they'll kill you real quick. So let's see how this does. Uh, okay, so that's actually, these guys are good to fight with these fireballs because they move so slow that uh, they actually take the secondary damage, which is the real strength of that pyromancy. But yeah, they, uh, they take a while to kill. See. Ooh, ah! Oh, come on. One little sliver of health. Man, I burned a lot of Estus here. And there is one more over there. I'm gonna see if I can just sort of rush in and grab the treasure. Okay, okay that was. Ah, that was greedy. Heal up again. Um, let's try to lower him out a little bit because I don't feel like killing him again. Over here. So we get the enchanted ember here. Um, so as usual, like, so we've seen embers before, we know how they work. We give them to the blacksmith, and then that'll allow them to upgrade them. That blacksmith, I mean, that ember is for a blacksmith we haven't met yet. Um, 
who's actually been right under our noses. And uh, if we have enough time, I will uh, showcase him at the end of the episode here. But anyway, uh, as far as... I'm just going to quickly show where the, the grave and the boss is, or what they were talking about. Um, you know, the grave robbers. Oh, yeah, in this area. So, that's a... Uh, that's another cat, like Alvina, except this one is going to kill us. <laughs> um, this whole area, by the way, um, it, you don't even have to go here at all. And I kind of recommend not going here if it can be avoided. Um, I'm going to try to quickly grab that item. I don't actually know what it is. Probably not too important. Uh, a soul item. Those, those are helpful, but you can live without them. Uh, so let's quickly run to the boss area here, because the grave is, of course, a boss. Um, yeah, so over there, if we cross this bridge and we head over there, um, we can fight the boss of this area. We're not going to do that now, because um, there's a very important reason why. Uh, there's basic... So we can go fight him now, right? But if we do some optional stuff instead, we get an easter egg. Um, but then, of course, we have to delay fighting the boss for, like, a long time. <laughs> but we'll cross that bridge eventually, um, literally <laughs> and uh, figuratively. So for now, um, I'm going to try to just backtrack where I came. Oh God, it's so easy to get lost in this part of Darker Garden. It's just darkness and trees. And like, I'm to Homer Bone soon. Yeah, I don't know. How the hell? Wait a minute. Let's use the mushrooms. Okay, there's the one I killed, which means... Have come from this way, right? Think? Yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like I said, really easy to get lost here. Potentially gonna speed that up. We'll see. So anyway, if we, the reason I'm coming back here, not just homeward boning, is because once you join the forest hunters, right out here, we're gonna get to say hello to Shiva of the East, wearing the Eastern set. Nam. You guys are not fooling you, that's his ninja bodyguard over there. You um, can try to talk to him first. Just stay calm. Um, let's see what he has to say. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now. As there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of rules. You hear? Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets to pray. That's the way we do it. Only, don't forget what Alvina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it then. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good hunting to you. And good hunting to you too. Um, so, uh, one thing to point out, if we killed them right now, we could get some cool items. We get um, his sword and his shield, and uh, killing the bodyguard gets us a really cool ring. Uh, we're not going to do that, because, um, like he said, then we're out, <laughs> and we're not getting forgiven. Which, by the way, there's a little uh, caveat. If you uh, do kill someone, and you head to the uh, Oscar the Partner at the top of the church, you can uh, pay your way back in, <laughs> and you'll be forgiven. So uh, don't worry if you do accidentally smack someone. Um, there's a few other bonuses. Uh, once we come back through here, all those enemies will respawn. Um, besides the ones that don't respawn, of course. Um, but they're actually going to be pacified for as long as you're in the guild. So that's really helpful when you're fighting the boss. Um, what else, though? Uh, oh yeah, and as far as the way the PvP works, this is actually a pretty uh, hot PvP spot. Um, essentially, if you're here and you're human, this whole area that we've been in just now, if you're human and you're online, then... Um, other players who are in the Covenant that have that ring on that she gave us have a chance to just be teleported here and then it's just you fight in the forest. Um, it's really fun, but um, obviously I'm playing offline for now so we're not going to be able to really participate in that. So uh, let's just get a level up here. And um, So we didn't fight the boss, but I'm gonna we're going to go fight a mini-boss to sort of make up for that. Um, remember back when we fought Havel the Rock, right? We went this way. We went all the way down and around and got to the top of the tower. Uh, in that area, I said that there was... I don't know, you, we might have seen some like giant water bolts getting thrown our way. Uh, we're going to go fight the source of that now. 
Um, back then when we were last here, we were obviously a lot weaker. Uh, we probably still could have fought it, but you know, it would have been a lot tougher. Now that we got good armor and good weapons and good stats, uh, we'll stand a much better chance. Um, so yeah, we've uh, already seen this view, right? Nice, large, overarching view, and uh, so we have the Dark Root Basin. And there's that Crystal Lizard and the Black Knight down here. Yep, there we go. So if we keep heading down there, and I think we can actually see a view of the lake just there. But we gotta make our way all the way down. And I'm probably just gonna drop here. Yeah. That's where we found the leather armor and a bow, I believe. Right over here. Okay, so we went up that way, right? And that's where we fought Havel. If we go this way instead... Yeah, see, look. Uh, I, th I think that's what I teased, like, just some scary squirmingness. Um, I'm starting to get a good look as, at to, as to what exactly it is. Um, it's like a big water dragon. So, oh yeah, and these things, by the way, these are the crystal golems. Um, they're very high magic resistance, so... If you uh, if you're using a magic weapon, you're like not going to do anything to these guys. And now they are weak to blunt damage because you can imagine like you know you're shattering glass, but they'll go down with any old attacks. I believe they do drop blue type knight chunks, so if you need them, this is where you can get them. Uh, so we want to make our way closer to the actual boss. And as you saw too, you can actually use the water bolts against these guys. Let's see if I can get some. Yep. Makes things a lot easier if you come here early. That way you don't have or you're doing magic, so you don't have to deal with these guys. Alright, so <laughs> with those guys out of the way, let's uh, try to take this thing on ourselves. Now, this is actually the most dangerous part when he's shooting these things. But uh, once you get closer, it's uh Oh god. It's not so bad. But you do have to actually get closer and real quick here, I'm gonna change into my Rusted iron ring since we're in the water. Oh man, good save, good save. I think that did make me fat roll. Okay, you have to get close to him for him to not shoot that. So once you get to this point, he can't really aim for you, so instead, he's gonna, he's gonna growl, keep your shield up, and then just start smacking. So we, and uh, okay, there's the knight set by the way. Smack like that, yep. You come down here with lightning resin. Um, it'll go down a lot easier, of course, because uh, this is a dragon, and dragons are to lightning. Yeah, so the first few heads are going to be easy to take down, but um, once he's only got a few left, it starts to become more difficult. I think, did that not hit him? No. Uh, one more thing to point out, by the way. Uh, if you go to... Okay, at least not getting... Was I just... Uh, okay. It's a little hard to see, but there is like a cliff drop if you're not careful. And if you go too deep in the water, you'll get... There we go. You'll uh, actually fall off and die. <laughs> um, let's see, I think it's right there. It's hard to see. And, okay, can you not shoot water at me? Come on, come on. Like, the secret is you gotta like pay attention to where the heads go and try to get yourself there before he actually lands. Got me. Okay, one more head. And of course if you actually have projectiles, this whole thing is a lot easier. And uh, yep, and as you cut off the heads he'll actually shoot less water bolts. Oh man, this part might be tricky. Oh no. <laughs> uh, like I said, you gotta be careful of that drop because you'll die real fast. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut back to <laughs> once we have him down to one head again. So I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, round two. down. Three down. The nice thing is that um, we do one shot <laughs> his heads. This is like even worse if you can't. <gasps> no. Okay, third time is the charm. Same mistake again this time. And each one, one at a time. Alright. Taking one head out each time. So far, which is good. I keep your shield up when the heads come down, but then quickly switch to two-handed. Okay, come on, none of that, none of that. Okay, one last one, and we're gonna try something different for this. All right, <laughs> do you think we can do enough? Just might. I think if you actually hit him in the face, we'll do more. Not very much. One more though. It does add up. Yeah. Let's try these uh, sniper arrows. Okay, I think he's almost dead. There we go. <laughs> get for lowering me off. If I had just fallen off during the well, what is it just now? That would have actually been amazing. <laughs> okay, so for, th for our efforts, we get ourselves a dragon scale and the dust crown ring. Uh, the dust crown ring being, I forget exactly what it does. It does something to help you with your magic. Um, right. uh, yeah, it grants extra magic casting but halves HP. So if you really want to go hard with um, magic, it's a decent ring, but we're, uh, we're not quite that, that devoted. So, um, okay, once you kill the Hydra, right, you're gonna wanna make your way this way. And, uh, one thing to note as well, see this ladder here? Uh, if you didn't wanna buy the shortcut key and wanted to just, uh, you know, get, fight that boss and go to that whole area, you can actually take that ladder upwards and uh, you'll go to where that, like, angry cat was that I mentioned. Will, um, it's just like a mean version of Albina. That's the long way around. The whole hunter's shortcut exists, so you don't have to do that because, like, you know, it's already a long walk to get down here, and then to do another long walk all the way up there and go through all that, it's, it's painful. Okay. So anyway, we're coming here, right? There's nothing here, but we uh, quit and reload. And it's important that you quit and reload because for some reason they decided to only have this next enemy spawn when you do that, um, specifically after you kill the Hydra. So if you kill the Hydra, went off and then came back here, it probably would have still showed up for you. Anyway, this one is a little, uh, looks a little different as you can see. It's a little faster, hits a little harder, might even be bigger. But if you look real carefully in his, like, main crystal head up there, there's actually someone stuck in there. Um, anytime you see one of these gold crystals, I just know that that's because they're hiding someone. I think there's only, like, one other one in the game. <laughs> don't, don't feel like you have to be on the lookout for, uh, crystals with people in them. They go down pretty easily. And we have saved Princess. Uh, be careful too, because if you're swinging and swinging and you hit her, she's not going to be happy. So, it is thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseel. I cometh from an age long before thine. 
I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseal, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout. Engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. Seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. And off she goes. Uh, now, once you do that, you gotta make your way all the way back. Right here, you're gonna notice a summon sign, right? But there's no boss to fight, so why is there a summon sign? This is actually a unique summon sign. Um, all it does is uh, just touch it, and then Dusk will appear. Now, Dusk, you know, with the whole nature of summon signs, like I explained, you know, time is warped. She comes from an ancient civilization from long ago. Um, at the moment, she's obviously not really here, but we're just summoning her. I am Dusk thing. of Ulysseo. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. Okay, and here we can uh, learn a gesture, a proper bow. You want to use that. Um, buy some things. Uh, Hidden Body is a fun spell. <laughs> you camouflage in as a hop around there. Really fun for just messing with people. Uh, cast Light we're going to grab. Um, oh, sorry. Hidden Body makes you invisible. Chameleon makes you appear as a... As a, as a what's it called? Just a random item in the area. Um, repair and Hidden Weapon are... Me. But, uh, this Catalyst is a pretty good Catalyst. So I'll pick that up as well. Let's see what else she has to say. For a very long time, I was trapped within the crystal golem. From my home, I was taken and banished to a plane of distortion. It was there that thou came to my rescue, long after I had relinquished all hope. So gleeful was I. My faith reneweth. So yeah, she's talking about how we came to her rescue. Um, I might think that she's talking about when we just rescued her, but um. Once we get into the DLC, we're going to learn a lot more about Dusk and her story. The sorceries of Ulysseal differ from the magic of thine age. It is difficult to explain. Ulysseal's sorceries are, what doth one say? <laughs> They're somewhat of an approximation. Thine sorceries are more straightforward, negating all but thyself. Dost thou not find some fascination in these discrepancies? You know, anything else? The sorcery. It uh, so she just <laughs> talk about how much better her sorceries are than ours. Um, if thou art in need, pray summon me again. I only wish to be of some genuine assistance. May the flames guide thee. So yeah, she's a she's an interesting character. Um, just like all characters, I say that for everyone. Um, but. We just came here as a detour. Uh, the next place we're going to, it's important that we did what we just did. We need to free Dusk in order to get an item which we're going to use to access the DLC later on. Um, oh, and like I said, we're going to be going back to where we were over there. If you want to, you can. once you talk to her, you can run all the way back and you can actually get her armor set. Uh, which, if you're doing magic stuff, I kind of recommend doing. Because that crown, those aren't her elf ears, that's actually just a crown she's wearing. And uh, it gives like bonus magic damage, but lowers your magic defense or something like that. But you know, if you're min-maxing for magic damage, definitely want to grab that. So uh, that's going to do it for us today. Um, just need to knock some things out of Darkroot Garden. We're still not done here. We're going to be coming back here one last time, a little bit farther down the road. Um, technically two times, because the DLC will be over there. Um, but we got to tackle, tackle one of those um, four Great Lord Souls next. Um, I might have an idea of where we're going to go first, but we'll find out next time. Now, um, I hope this episode isn't too long, but I'll try to head down to a reasonable time. Either way, thank you guys for uh, watching. Uh, let's do that proper bow that she gave us. And, um, yeah, as always, appreciate the watch. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed it. Hope you did. See you all next time.